next gig is the one that's gonna make us a lot of money. But Sam, every time you have some big idea, it just it just turns out bad. Why would you say that? Fine. Out of the car! Say, I got an idea on how to get us out of here. We are all gonna get saved. How about you? Uh, are you safe too? Yes, yeah, absolutely. And I request that you release these three fine men to my custody to do a little community service. A thousand bucks. How hard could this be? Huh. We don't have a doggone clue on how to run a church, sir. We don't want any wildfires. Wildfires. I, I don't think you'll have a chance of any wildfires. You just preach peace and love. Then God has said, not my eyes, don't shine it on me. You do have some peace and love in you, don't you? Love and kindness. You are out of your mind. Listen to me. <laughs> Get out of that girl. You. You're gonna work with the kids. <laughs> and uh, you, you're gonna handle the music. <laughs> you, you're gonna be our preacher. Would you do us the honor of saying the blessing over this food? Oh, dear God. It's the chance of a lifetime. I've spent my entire life chasing the chance of a lifetime, but I'm always too late. How about I uh, take you for a ride in a classic convertible? You can show the new guy around town. That actually would be really fun. God is a hot commodity, Sam. Tiffany, I'm, I'm not a real preacher. Just leave, Sam. Well, what you gonna be, the fake pastor forever? You might want to consider believing in God. Well, I learned a long time ago how the Lord has a mighty funny way of getting his will done through some very unlikely people. So, what can I do for you? God told me that you're supposed to marry me. Are you going to obey God or not? <laughs>